Alright guys, this is like the third take I'm doing on this video because the first time my OBS crashed, the second time my computer crashed. I need a new system, damn. Alright, but let's go ahead and do this. This is going to be a team building guide on Super Gogeta. I'm going to do individual guides this time, specifically because the videos end up being too long when I do all the new banner cards in one video. So luckily, because we have so, so far in advance, we're going to go ahead and do this right now. Super Gogeta is the Intelligence Super 120 leader, uh, so he's going to be really good for as a leader ability for that. Uh, Super Attack Soul Punisher causes immense damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense, so really good for that debilitator on a super attack. His passive skill, Overwhelming Radiance Attack plus 120 attacks are effective against all types, which really keeps him always in meta. His link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Over in a Flash, Fused Fighter, Experienced Fighters, and Fierce Battle with a 12 key multiplier of 150%. Overall, really good card, has a lot of damage, really good stats. He's also part of the fusion category, which we have over here, and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different teams that we can build alongside him. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First one we're going to talk about is just his best linking buddies. Um, well, which one is it? Here we go. Best linking buddies in the game. Current best linking buddies in the game are going to be Super Vegito, Super Vegito Blue. Um, those are his two, well, two best units that he does link with he has another unit that's really good also is the super go tanks or the seal tanks um not the super saiyan 3 one but they share each of these guys except for with the exception of super vegeto blue and the seal tanks they share five key links with each other or five link skills with each other um honestly and the best part is they're all hero units obviously uh thing is that they, they, some of these guys are patara fusion namely Vegitos, two Vegitos, so you're going to want to run these on the Heroes team, which luckily for you and us and the rest of us, we have Super Vegito Blue as the Hero Leader. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in real quick. All right, cool. So obviously, um, this is what I think is going to be the best. I'm not going to. I'm going to forego the support units on this one because you could run whatever support units you want. There's just way too many to mention over here. Um, the best link, the best links that I could say the best setup would be Super Gogeta and Seal Tanks on one round, and then the other round is going to be Super Vegito and Super Vegito Blue. That's because these two share five link skills. You don't have to worry about the four link skills from Seal Tanks. These guys share five link skills. Their links that they share with between the Vegito and the Seal Tanks, or the Gogeta and the Seal Tanks, is a five key, which gives them 11 key at the start of the turn if you're doing a double Vegito Blue lead, uh, and a 25% attack buff. So they're always going to be super attacks, right? This guy, as long as the enemy doesn't have like some special where he cannot be sealed, uh, he they will always be sealed. And then the next round, Vegito and uh, both Vegitos will be able to counter anything. So it's a really good setup. This is a really good setup for a heroes team. I just wanted to make sure I, I said that. This is a really nice setup. I do like that. Um, the next one we're going to talk about are his best linking buddies. Uh, I'm sorry, his best uh, intelligence linking buddies in game. Now this is just for mono intelligence teams, just so you know who you can run with him alongside him. Uh, if you are looking for best linking buddies, uh, first one we're going to talk about that's probably going to be a staple is going to be this Rage Trunks. There's four link skills. Uh, he has a passive that changes key orbs. And he gives himself an attack buff, and he does immense damage. So it's probably going to be the number one best person you can link with him. Second one would be the TUR variant of LR Gohan. The reason why is because you're obviously going to want to make him an LR when you get the ability to do so. Once you get the ability to do so, the, until you do they get that ability, he will be another good unit because of that attack buff. Uh, he gives himself an attack buff and shares four key links. The two over here, not going to be really the best picks, but they're a lot easier. This is an SR Trunks, gets Doken Awakened into Gotenks. Uh, not the best unit in the game, but he can be linked with him. And honestly, the best part about Gogeta, the intelligence one, is you do have a free-to-play card. This is the Trunks that Doken Awakens from uh, the Rage and Despair Trunks, where the heck it was from the uh, the future Trunks event that came out. So it's the base form Trunks that Doken Awakens into the Super Saiyan, which Doken Awakens into this one. He does Supreme Damage, he's a free-to-play card, and he shares four Link skills with, with uh Vegito or Gogeta, I keep on saying that. <laughs> uh, three key, uh, three key, and twenty-five percent attack buffs, and that's a free-to-play card. So if you don't have these guys over here, you could use the free-to-play card. And honestly, I'd probably say the free-to-play card over this uh, uh, Go Tanks. Honestly, uh, maybe not, just because he gives a lot more key. But you know, he's still good. He's a good unit. Um, overall but this is going to be the best linking buddies now let's talk about teams team buildings uh, we're going to do a fusions one last so let's go over here the most optimal team that i can possibly think of is going to be this team lr gohan lr gohan or the ssr variant of lr gohan and these two on rotations because they link very well with each other uh, this rotation is going to be trunks and vegeta or gogeta 
And then support units are going to be this Gohan if you have him. Obviously, you're going to have to have your friend Gogeta on, on rotation, and then you're going to have Pandel. Pandel is a really good support unit. Now, I did bring into play these other two support units, which is Buffku and Whis. They are other good support units for Mono Intelligence. They are heroes, so they're going to get the same buffs. This is the most optimal setup that you can run, in my opinion. I think that this will give you the best damage output and do the get you through the events as quick as you possibly can. Now, obviously, not everyone is going to have this uh, Gohan, and, well, the two Gohans. So I also thought of it and made a separate team or without them. You're going to have the Rage Trunks with Super Gogeta. They're going to obviously still be a, a primary duo that you're going to want together. Um, you're going to have Buff Kill. Um, you're going to have this Gohan. Uh, this is the Kid Gohan that does the key plus 3 HP, uh, well, attack and defense plus 40%, and Pandel. You still have the support unit of Whis over here. Which one else did I... With the, which one? Okay, yeah. Uh, you still have Whis, which you could sub out for any of these units if you don't have any of them. Uh, and then over here, you're going to have your Gogeta, your friend Gogeta, and you could put any of these three. At least these are the three that I'm going to say are going to be the primary units you're going to want to put in. Then you also have this Trunks just for the, uh, the the linking ability if you want him. Not a good unit, but uh, you have this Bardock who seals, so that way you're going to get less damage overall from your opponent. You have this Goku. He is a key orb manipulator. He's not the best unit in game, but he does share three link skills with Gogeta. And this Gohan who does attack plus 90% when you Doken Waken him. Uh, these three are probably going to be some of the best units that you can run in terms of mono heroes. Um, you're going to get a lot of damage output uh, out of them. And honestly, each of them can come into play based off of you know uh, what you're trying to do. Uh, obviously, this Goku is probably going to be lower on your list just because you don't really need him too much. Uh, they do share some decent link skills. They're going to need the key buff, though. Uh, Super Saiyan is the only attack buff. Then they give each other three key. Uh, the Goku is going to make sure that you're well, not make sure, but almost always going to get super attacks off. Gohan only shares two uh, key links with him, and they are Golden Warrior and Super Saiyan, so they're not going to have a lot of key, but if you have some of these key, uh, key support, like let's say you need the key support, take out Pandel, throw in Whis, and you should be good with uh, with getting off super attacks, and that Gohan's going to do 90% attack buff, which is really viable. But this is going to be good for a, a, a mono hero intelligence team without LR Gohan if you don't have him. Uh, really good units, just make sure you take note of that. Um, now let's go ahead and jump into the fusions team. Uh, I know I'm, I'm running through this really quick guys and that's specifically because the last few videos that I did team building were just way too long. <laughs> um, so in terms of the fusions team you will have a lot of different options that you could do here. This is the, all the fusion category. It's a little bit diff more difficult to build this team but I'm going to do a little bit of the staple units and talk about some of the subs. Staple units obviously Gogeta and Gogeta. Those two are linked well together. You don't want them together. Um, Super Saiyan, they share a Super Saiyan over in a Flash, Fierce Battle, and Fuse Fighter. So they're giving each other 25% attack and 5 key, so they will always be supering. Uh, the other side, you're probably going to want to have Seal Tanks and Go Tanks. They're definitely a good combination of cards that you can link together. So you're going to want to have them together. They give each other, holy crap, a 35% attack buff. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 35% attack buff and 2 key. And on support, you're going to have Pandel. Um, and obviously you're going to have on rotation, you're going to have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And then you can have anyone you really want. Uh, it's going to be difficult. You could throw in Karoli just because he has a decent attack. Um, and he is a Super Saiyan, which is going to make sure the Super Saiyan links get hit off. He'll be doing a little 10% more damage. You have Bullpen, who gives th uh, 3 key, I believe, on HP is 30% or above. So that's a really nice support unit. You could also jump in here and choose anyone else you want. You have the base form Go Tanks. I didn't throw all of them on here, uh, but you do have the base form Go Tanks. He's a pretty damn decent card. Not the best, uh, but he'll do attack plus 77% up. You're not going to have him first in turn, so you're not going to get that additional 23. Um, then you also have to take into consideration. Uh, let's see. It, well, if you're JP side, you're going to have the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Uh, we don't have that on the global side as of yet. I don't. I don't know if we're going to get him or not. But he is someone who would be viable on the team. And Barlot. Barlot's another good person you can throw in rotation. He's not good for support, but he does some decent damage depending on how um, how he's utilized. Uh, so you have a lot of different choices here that you can make when trying to build a team. Personally, uh, the one thing about this is that Gogeta is a staple unit in all of these teams. So it's not like you're never going to utilize him in the future. Uh, so, I mean, oh, the other the other one that I forgot to say is another good support would be uh, Weirus if you have him. Because he changes two different types of key orbs into one. But overall, he's a staple on a Fusions team. He is a staple on either one of these mono teams. Specifically because, you know, he's the leader, obviously. Um, 
and he just shares some decent link skills with some really good units in the game. Um, even on the Heroes team, he's a staple on the Heroes team once he replaces the Strength Gogeta. But uh, overall, guys, yeah, um, that is the quick team building guide. Let me know if you prefer this format over the last one where I went really in-depth with two different cards. Um, I think that he's a good unit. I think that you should go for him in terms of the current metas. He is very viable in terms of team building. Uh, again, if you're specific to categories, he may not be so, if, unless you're trying to go specific to fusion only. Uh, but outside of that, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.